Hello class. This time we will do English literature. In that we will do chapter number 7, Flavors of Kashmir. In this chapter we are going to read about the delicacies of Kashmir and its beauty. Okay, so let's start. Now I wanted to open page number 90, 9090. Okay, in that if you open that page, there is one exercise given you, given to you. Look at the pictures of these two sweet dishes. Match each to its name and the region it is from. So in this chapter, in this page, what we have to do, we have to match the sweet dish, uh, sweet dishes with their state or with their region. For example, first one is first one is the picture of Russia Gulla. Okay, so Russia Gulla is famous in which region or in which state? It is famous in West Bengal. Okay, so you will match Rasgulla or Rasgulla with West West Bengal. Uh, similarly, you are going to match the rest of the sweet dishes. Okay, so we will start reading. Kashmir is often referred to as paradise on earth because of its natural beauty. So Kashmir is known as a paradise of the earth means uh, it is like a heaven on the earth why because of its beauty but travelers to kashmir also know that kashmir's cuisine is equally fascinating so but the people who travel to kashmir they are also aware that kashmir is famous for its cuisine cuisine means for its food item that they make okay <clears throat> Read this passage to learn more about some of the dishes which are important part of Kashmiri life. So we are going to learn the uh, dishes uh, that, that are very important in Kashmir and are uh, important in their day-to-day -day life. When we think of Kashmir, the image of everything beautiful in nature rises before our eyes. So whenever we think about Kashmir, what we think? We think about the snow okay we think about the high mountains the pine trees and the beautiful beautiful flowers and that uh, lake is also there dull lake okay which is very famous for the houseboating or for the boating okay so whenever we think of kashmir uh, we think of all these things okay we think of the majestic snow covered himalayas green valleys with pine trees clear and cold mountain streams garden filled with flowers and the dull lake with its houseboats and shikaras what are shikaras you can learn the meaning over here low wooden boats used as transport shikara means it is a boat small boat wooden boat which helps you to transport or uh, which help you to uh, which helps you to move from one place to the another okay so whenever we think of kashmir we think of uh, snow covered himalayas Pine trees like this, which are used for Christmas also sometimes. Okay. And cold mountain streams, rivers. Okay. And garden which are filled with beautiful flowers. Especially tulip flower are very food famous over there. And orchids also. Over hundred of years, people of different religions and traditions have shared their cultures in this land. So it is a state where there are different uh, people belonging to different religion. They, they also live over there. This mixing of tradition has given Kashmir a cuisine that is full of variety and flavors. So when they mix together, they come out with the different cuisine or the um variety and the flavors okay the people of kashmir love to drink tea to keep themselves warm so obviously kashmir is very cold in winter time so people over there they are fond of their tea the traditional tea of kashmir is called noon chai okay so there is a traditional tea uh, which is very famous over there and it is called noon chai. What is the meaning of noon? Salt and chai means tea. So salt tea. Also called sheer chai and it is also known as sheer chai. Sheer means milk and chai means tea. It is an important part of breakfast and supper and is usually had with various type of traditional bread. So they usually have this tea at the time of breakfast or at the time of supper. Okay. 
no chai and they uh, and they have it with the bread there is there are uh, some traditional bread which i'm going to read in the late, later in this chapter so they drink tea with that traditional bread traditional means uh, old customs okay noon chai is commonly made with green tea leaves milk and salt so class in this paragraph we are going to learn about their teas and how they are made and with what they are served okay so noon chai is made up of green tea leaves milk and salt a pinch of baking soda gives the tea its unique pink color and if it mix uh, if it mix a pinch of uh, baking soda the color of the tea will become pink another type of tea which kashmir is known for is called kahwa okay so the kahwa is the another type of tea which is very famous in kashmir it is usually served during festival so now kahwa is they are usually served when at the time of festival or at the special occasions and at weddings okay also at the wedding it is also a special occasion it is made with saffron so saffron means kesar okay so it is made with saffron saffron uh, the smell of the saffron is very nice and it's very very costly okay spices and almonds or walnuts so this tea why it is made in special occasion because they use costly products in this okay like saffron spices almonds and walnuts so the, so they use these ingredients in the making of these in the making of this tea which tea ka wa now third paragraph if you travel to kashmir you will see bakeries at every corner so you know what is bakery confectioneries where you will get confectioneries item so whenever you will travel to kashmir you will see many bakeries these bakeries sell many kinds of breads big as well as small most of them made with a golden brown crust with either sesame or poppy seed so these bakeries they make small breads and big breads and at the uh, side of the bread they what they will put sesame sesame means til okay so they put sesame seeds or poppy seeds to make it look attractive and the taste will also come good and it become crispy or crusty kind of okay sheer mal and bakhar khani are two types of bread that are very popular so what are the two types of bread the breads that are very popular sheer mal and bakhar khani okay now we will learn about bakhar khani bakhar khani is a type of flat bread which is round okay and is similar to a naan so you have eaten butter naan or simple naan so it looks like that only it is mildly sweet but bakhar khani is mildly sweet whereas our naan what we eat outside in the restaurant that is not sweet okay and is usually eaten hot for breakfast and when they eat that bakhar khani at the time of breakfast these sells these sell like hot cakes at the bakeries so uh, the uh, this uh, this bakhar khani it is sweet so it is like a cake for kashmiri people so they that's why they eat it at the time of breakfast the people of kashmir love their bread so they are very fond of their breads okay now last paragraph of this page wazwan is a huge traditional meal which one is the huge traditional meal wazwan which is organized on special occasion so this meal which is a huge traditional meal uh, which is called was one it is organized only at this special occasion okay not in a day every day life in the kashmiri language was was one means cooking shop so in kashmiri language was one means what is this word means a cooking shop a shop where they cook delicious meal the meal consists of 36 different dishes so how many dishes they make 36 both vegetarian and non -veg non vegetarian so including the vegetarian and non non vegetarian dishes they make total 36 dishes okay 
Many of these are cooked on slow fire the whole night and served to the guests the next day. So, out of these 36 dishes, few dishes they are cooked in slow flame means in a low fire means low flame and they, they are cooked over night to make the gravy thick and delicious. Okay. And they serve when they serve it to the guests the next day. So, they cook it overnight means uh, the whole night they cook it and, and the next day they serve it to their guest. So the flavor of that food uh, becomes very rich and very tasty. Okay. Vaswan is usually organized to celebrate weddings and to feed many guests. So this huge meal, this Vaswan is usually organized when there is a wedding. Okay. Or when there are many guests. These dishes, these dishes are prepared with great care. And the main cook called Vaste Vaz. So, uh, uh, these dishes which are cooked in the Vazwan, okay, they are cooked with great care under Vaste Vaz. Vaste Vaz is a person who is in charge of that uh, shop, that cooking shop, who looks after the preparation of the uh, meals, okay. And he looks after the preparation. Now come to the next page. Vaswan is a good example of how food brings people together. So obviously many people they come okay and then they eat when when, uh, when the huge uh, traditional meal are cooked. Okay. <clears throat> At a Vaswan meal people do not eat separately but they share food. Four people sit around and eat out of one large platter of food. So, what happens actually in Vazwan, okay, four people, they sit together and then they share their food from one platter or one plate. Okay, big tray kind of a plates are there. There, uh, there they keep all the dishes, whatever they cook and four people, or more than four people, they sit around that uh, platter and then they eat from the same plate. Okay. Before the formal meal begins, there is a traditional ritual of washing hands. So there is a whole custom that what they do, they wash their hands before eating that meal. Okay, which we do in our daily life also, right? We wash our hands before eating. Attendants carry a basin and take it around so that the guests can wash their hands where they sit. So attendants means the people who attend the guests, who, who look after the guests, what they do? They carry a large container which they uh, take it around, okay, to all the guests and the guests, they wash it where they sit only, so, okay. People talk to one another, there is laughter and enjoyment as the dishes come in on, come in one after the another. And the people, they enjoy eating this delicious food. They talk to other, they uh, they smile, they laugh, okay. The Vazwan lasts for a long time and it lasts for a long time. The, so class, I hope you have understood what we have read today. I wanted to read it again at home and please do the homework which I will give you properly and neatly. Thank you.